In this video, we are going to talk about a classic place value misconception, multiplying by 10. Explain to children that tricks and shortcuts are sometimes used in maths to make life easier, but that sometimes these rules don't always work. Share this example. Pretend that class 2R is learning the 10 times table with their teacher, Miss Smith, who has written 3 times 10 on the board. Jaden calls out, that's easy. All you have to do is add a naught, so the answer is 30. Miss Smith isn't happy, even though Jaden works out that 30 is the right answer. First of all, she says zero is a more precise word for naught. She then tells her children that the add a zero rule only works for whole numbers, so it's best not to use it. Provide another example to show what happens when you just add a naught to a decimal number. Write 2.5 times 10 on the board. If we just add a naught, then 2.5 would become 2.50. But there is a big problem with this method. Ask children if they can work out why. Explain that 2.5 and 2.50 are actually the same number. If we just add a zero on the end of 2.5, then we haven't made it 10 times bigger. All we have done is use the zero as a placeholder. Tell children that when a number is multiplied by 10, all the digits move one place to the left. The zero on the end of the number is actually acting as a placeholder. Tell children that the just add a zero shortcut is an example of faulty mass because it doesn't work for all numbers. When children are eventually taught decimals, they must unlearn their thoughts regarding just add a zero and relearn the correct way to multiply by 10. One way to avoid using this shortcut in the first place is to introduce decimals at an early age. This can be as simple as understanding that 5 is the same as 5.0. This way, when you teach children to multiply by 10, you can show that the digits are moving one place to the left, so 5.00 is now 50.0. Instead of writing 3 times 10 on the board, explain to children that 3 can be written as 3.0. This shows how the 3 is used as a placeholder. Then multiply by 10 by moving the digits to the left. Remember, you don't just tag a 0 on the end of a number.